Construction moves along at a cost of a few million dollars per day at the biggest infrastructure project in B.C. history. The Sightsee Dam is nestled in the northeastern corner of B.C., out of sight, perhaps, but certainly not out of mind. It's long been mired in controversy, the protests going back several years. After it broke ground in 2015, then-Premier Christy Clark vowed to push the project past the point of no return. I'm proud of what we're doing with Site C. I know we have a very different position on that from the opposition. John Horgan happened to be in opposition at the time when this now infamous photo was snapped. Fast forward to 2017, now Premier, he begrudgingly gave it the green light to continue. But this past summer, foundational problems surfaced. It was unclear if they could be fixed and at what cost. The political calls mounted to cancel the project altogether. Instead, an independent review was done and the report's findings kept secret until today. They confirmed that the project can proceed safely and will be built to the highest dam standards. The price tag, though, has shot up more than 60 percent, but the Premier maintains the alternative was worse. Cancelling Site C when it was half done would have meant laying off 4,500 workers. It would have left us with a $10 billion debt and nothing to show for it. Not enough to silence critics in the legislature. An astonishingly terrible business case. Nor opponents living near the site, including a First Nation that's taking the project to court. And from the very beginning of this whole process, we stated that we weren't opposed to the creation of the energy. What we're opposed to is the destruction of the valley. Yet construction will continue full steam ahead until completion in 2025, a year behind schedule and way over budget. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.